The culmination of the 38 Naga Students Federation Conference was celebrated at Ukrul, where Dr. Loro S. Fose, MP Lok Sabha, graced the event as a special guest. The conference, which saw the election of new office bearers for the term 2023 to 2025, also witnessed the felicitation and introduction of these newly elected officials. Commencing with a solemn, dedicatory prayer, the event transitioned into a series of inspiring speeches and performances. The outgoing president delivered a heartfelt solidarity speech, followed by a response from the president-elect for the upcoming term, Medovi Shri. Dr. Loro S. Fose, the special guest in his speech, underscored the pivotal role that the NSF plays as a torchbearer, as a torchbearer for the Nagas, uniting not only their own community but also exemplifying unity to their neighbours. He stressed on the significance of the unity exhibited by the Nagas through NSF. Dr. Fose highlighted that amidst the present Manipur issue, the Naga people have stood as a neutral force, contributing to the cause of peace and unity. Regarding the Naga political talks, Dr. Fose expressed that they have reached a critical juncture where government engagement seems to be intensifying. He emphasized that any delays in these talks would not deter the Naga's determination, rather they would fortify the Naga's vision and purpose. Adding a musical touch to the proceedings, the audience was treated with solo performance by Eli Bamile Pame. A special song was performed by the Pumai Naga Zudumai Me, captivating the audience with their melodious rendition. The vote of thanks was extended by the convener of NSF Central Organizing Committee, expressing gratitude to all the participants and contributors who made the event a success. Election Commission would like to introduce the leadership elect to the Naga people tonight. I call upon all the leaders elect to come on stage. Light up. These are the leaders the Naga people have elected today to lead the Naga people. I would begin from the president, Mr. Medovi Ri is from he is from Jagasang community. He is elected as the president of the Naga Student Federation 2023-2025. Community. 
Mr. Kenny Lobken. He is from Rengma community. He is elected as Gen Assistant General Secretary of the Naga Students Federation. Ino Heiko Ken. Elected as the Secretary Secretary Finance. He is from Rengma community. We have Tenten Toshi from our community. He is elected as Education Secretary. Mr. Kai Su Chakre, he is from our community. He is elected as Secretary Social and Culture. Mitumo Shidio. He is from Kota community. He is elected as Secretary, Secretary of Public City and Information. Ino Kato V. Aumi from Sumi community. He is elected as the Speaker, Federal Assembly, Naga Student Federation. Kaboka V. Aomi From Sumi community, he is elected as Auditor General. The COC would like to present them a token of love. Good evening, Mokro. It's so nice to see you, all of you, through all the mist. I hope I'll be able to recognize you. NSF, today being the 30th conference, I think we are honored to have Mr. Ram Moiva, who after 30 years, he's also president of this today the president of the NSF, the outgoing Mr. Kekwe Hyun Depp. Your tenure has been very momentous. It has been filled with a lot of challenges, but the way you have steered your leadership until this day, we want to really thank God. And on this day, you along with your team, you have come to the end of your wonderful tenure and you have handed over unto the new team, Mr. Meduvi Ri. And your new team, I want to congratulate you. I know that a moment like this is not is emotional, filled with a lot of emotions, and it is also you look forward to with a lot more challenges. And I'm sure God will lead you through. Because God has always been good. And I think Mr. Depp and his team also will acknowledge that. And I think the same should go down in history with the next team too. I acknowledge the presence of all NSF leaders, all leaders from various federating units, from senior leaders of the NSF, Mr. Pushka is here with us and a lot more uh, senior leaders are also with us. We want to thank you and acknowledge your presence here. Manipur is going through a lot of trouble. A lot of issues are going on around us and it is at such a time that NSF comes in as a torchbearer, a unifying force a force that will bring not only the Nagas, but also the, the neighboring communities to look to the Nagas 
as a model that we belong to various, across various boundaries, we are united together. And therefore, it is so important that the unity that is shown by the Nagas through the NSF is so important, and I really appreciate it. When I was invited to come to this very place, I do remember the first encounter that I had with the NSF way back in 1971-72. Then one Mr. Shikiho, I think he also was a woman, right? Anyway, Mr. Shiki, who was the president then, I remember participating the NSF conference as a young boy. I was perhaps just in class eight that I was actively participating like many of you. And I'm sure that maybe after 52 years, today is 52 years after that particular 1971-72, after many, many years from today, many of our young people will continue to remember the good things that this Naga Student Federation does to our people in uniting, in bringing our people together from across boundaries and making, continuing to carry forward the issues faced by our people through ups and down, through tough times, we will go so that we will reach the destination that God has designed and given to us. Today, I want to acknowledge the Dankul Katamna Long for having hosted this very conference. This time of, this, of the year, it's, it's so, such a difficult thing, and I'm told that it was just about 10 days before today that the announcement of the date and place was given and the way that the TKS has handled, I truly appreciate you have come through and overcome a lot of those challenges that you have come. If we stay focused, we will not be deviated from our journey. We will continue to pursue and reach our goal in time. I want to thank all the leaders that are present who are relentlessly working from all walks of life, from all sorts of organizations. I wish to, I want to challenge all of us that today we are traveling through difficult times. When we are going along the way, we have the Metis, the Kukis, or the the Pangans or various other tribes and communities where we may come and face some clashes. But are they going to deviate us from our original goal? Are we going to be, you know, uh, our goal, should we lose our focus? These issues will come by the way, but Nagas must stand firm. We must continue to leave, we must continue to lead, and we must see that finally God will bring to us the things that we are wanting. Today the need is unity. Today the need is unity. NSF apparently is united, but there are some sections, I do not know if uh, ENSO, uh, Eastern Nagas, are they part of our organization? I think some of them are there. There may be in other organizations, like in the Naga Hoho, certain tribes have moved out of it. You know, this Apex organizations that we have, Apex organizations like the NSF or the Naga Hoho or the Naga Mothers, uh, Naga Mothers Association or other things like that. If we are broken, if we are not able to bring everybody together, I think it will be a very sad thing. Let us work on unity. I was, I am in Delhi. The Naga Students Union Delhi have also sent their greetings for the success of this NSF conference. The Naga scholars have also sent in their uh, greetings for the success of this conference. 
we just had a meeting a few days before I came over, and they have wished that we will move forward. We will march ahead in spite of all the obstacles that we meet. We in Delhi decided that there are certain tribes which are not participating in organizations such as this. The NSUD has taken it upon themselves that they will go back home to meet with the parent organizations and then try once again to bring all our people together, that all our people should walk and speak in the same voice. Otherwise, if our voices are diverse, if our voices are scattered, people will not be able to see the real vision, the real aspiration of the Nagas as one voice, as one people. Therefore, even in NSF here today, even in Nagaland, in Manipur, or around in our areas, we must really work so that we will bring all these others, I will not call them splinters, but there are some misunderstandings that have cropped up at some point of time. We must talk to them, we must come back once again to bring back unity of our people. Especially the Naga Students Federation must work hard so that all those who are not part of this federation, they must come and join, they must come and taste the goodness of the Students Federation and that as NSF continues to march forward, carrying the banner, carrying the flag, shouting that we shall overcome whatever obstacles that come our way. Let us be reminded that let us be reminded that we will know the truth and the truth will set us free. Truth has got no two truths. One truth, one destiny. One truth will be spoken up with one voice. One truth we will all support. And that one truth, if we support, if we go ahead, if we carry that banner, we shall overcome every other obstacles. Let us forget about the bat, the burrs that stick onto our clothes, that stick onto us on our journey. Let us clean, clean, keep them clear. Let us forget that and continue to brush through so that we'll finally reach the destination. The Naga peace talk has come to a very crucial situation. During my time, my term as a member of parliament during the last more than four years, I've tried my best to bring our issues both in the parliament, outside of the parliament, even to the leadership of the Indian government, the prime minister, the home minister, and other leaders. I've tried to meet the former interlocutors and tried to see how best I can also work with various other political parties. And I'm thankful to God that he has given me such opportunities, but the government of India would know that sometimes they continue to create these delays. Some understanding seems to have been brought and from somewhere some other issues brought up, prop up and then they just tend to keep delaying. But now I find that the government seems to be finally getting serious. They know that this delay is not going to discourage the Nagas. It is not going to cause division among Nagas. But this delay is going to strengthen our purpose it will, it will continue to increase our determination for the Naga vision and for the Naga purpose. And therefore, let us not be disheartened. Let us not be discouraged. Finally, now, the negotiation is going on again in Delhi. They need a lot of encouragement. We need a lot of prayer supporting them. We need the Naga people to kneel down on their feet, on their knees, and that lift the issue up to God, that God will give wisdom to our Naga leaders, God will give patience to the Indian leaders, God will give wisdom even to the Indian leaders so that there will be understanding of one another and they will finally come forward together to sign the final agreement. I'm hopeful that this will come very soon. The government of India is saying that they will try to finish it before the coming election 2024, 
We have just a few months, and these few months are going to, going to be very crucial, very important, and therefore it is the need of all of us to really lift up our leaders into the hands of God, that God will also continue to bring love, unity, compassion amongst our people. The division that is going on around us, amongst our neighboring communities, this also will continue to see, to look at the Nagas as an example, as someone to follow to, to and that they will also know that we must go the Naga way. And therefore, I want to encourage and continue to encourage our, our leaders, especially in the NSF, the various federating units. You know, recently we have seen uh, that two of our own boys from Northeast India, one from Manipur and one from Nagaland, they've reached and landed on the moon. What a proud moment it is for us. What a proud moment for the Nagas. Yes. Not only these two, but many of you, many of us can reach that height, that level. We only need to stay focused. We only need to work hard. We only need not to be, not to be deviated or not to blur away our vision. Continue to remain focused, remain on the truth, and God will bless and make bring these achievements even amongst our people. Young people, you are, you have so much of determination. You want to do well in your studies. You want to be an IS officer or you want to be various types of officers. You want to be scientists. You want to be people who land not only in the moon, but who knows to Mercury and Venus. God can always do that. We have only got to remain focused. We only have to remain focused and know that there is a truth, there is the truth, and this truth is in God. And if we remain in God, God will remain in us, and God will continue to make, make us to bear much fruit. Thank you very much, God bless all of you, and I can continue to wish all my, all my best wishes to the new team. My listeners, you know, Seniors of Nagasaki Federation, you know, we saw a movie from Bernard Anussi, and you see, three years with them, and we saw it. From Bernard Anussi, and you see, President of all the faculty units, and all the members of the President of the University of Nagasaki. At the very outset, I give all praise, honor, and glory to our God for giving me this same opportunity to be standing here today. And as I have been standing tall against all odds with unwavering support from all the Nagas beyond the border. In a special way, I extend my sincere thanks to my present, you know, that that we the students committee are really proud of you, sir. It is a wonderful journey working under your dynamic leadership. I'm delighted that you have bestowed upon me your blessing to serve the Naga student generation at this juncture when our society is facing so many problems. Issues and challenge competing with the fast world. I challenge the Nagas to unite and stand together to face the rest of the world. Anessa has been standing alone, strong thus far, with the support of the Nagas from all walks of life, particularly the unconditional support from our seniors. From our federal communities, I humbly request you to be our friend as you join me with the responsibility. As serving the Nagas Student Federation in particular and Nagas in general, together we will achieve higher. On behalf of the newly elected officer, I pledge to serve the Nagas Student Federation 
at all times to the true spirit of forgiveness and fraternity. Let us collectively work together towards a noble aspiration for solidarity and unity through a common platform and continue to work for the unified dreams and glories of the Nagas. Thank you, people of the groups. Thank you, GPS, for being a good host. Let the welfare of the people be the final note. Good night. Thank you. The last celebration was given birth when only few of our elders were educated. Handful of leaders, particularly from Agami, Sunni, all and of us, particularly the history cities. Most of them were studying in Shilong and Bhakti. They realized that a common platform for the youth and students community should be great in order to carry forward the aspiration of the Nava people as well as to intellectually fight with our adversaries and in order to protect the cultural identity of the Nava people. Nada Students Federation was given birth. In all these years, it has faced lots of challenges. It has its own flaws and weaknesses. However, I must tell the Naga people today that Nada Students Federation also have contributed something to the Naga people and for which Nada Students Federation is strong and united today. I want to remind all of us that only truth will set us free. Only truth can bring a solution to the world. I have never imagined or experienced that I am a regular and I belong to a minor community before I joined the Nava Student Federation. What I'm trying to tell all of you is we have to honestly and sincerely embrace one another as one people, as one government. I stand here on behalf of the Central Organizing Committee which was officially formed under the resolution of the Naga Students Federation by the, its Federal Assembly Resolution. And the date for this conference was scheduled on the date of August when the NSF and its federating units had its Federal Assembly at Naga Club Building, Okin Koema. On this auspicious occasion, I am really honored to be here to extend a word of gratitude and acknowledgement, though I will be very brief. And in fact, I would also like to first seek my apology on behalf of the Convener and also the members of the Central Organizing Committee and the Local Organizing Committee for we will not be able to mention all of you by name. So I shall be, I shall try to be as brief as possible. <laughs>